Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For this video, three things. First of all, it is going to be a get ready with me. It's been quite a while since I've done a makeup tutorial on my channel. I've been doing a pretty basic couple of steps everyday makeup because it's summertime and I don't really want a lot of heavy makeup on in the summer. Um, so my makeup has been very, very natural every day. That's why I haven't really gotten a tutorial out for you guys. But I recently went to an event that a friend of mine planned and hosted. And this was kind of a summertime glam look. So I posted these pictures on Instagram. And I really, really fell in love with the look and the outfit. So I'm going to be recreating it for you guys today to show you where everything is from and what I did and all that stuff. Number two, this is going to be a collab video with a very good friend of mine here on YouTube, Jessica. So we're both going to be doing summertime full on get ready with me's. I will leave the link down below to her video as well as a picture of her look. She just has a heart of gold. I really don't know what other words to attribute to her. She's an amazing person. So definitely check her out. And number three, we both as well as Natty Midnight will be at a meet and greet here in New York City. I'm like, I can't even get the words out. But yeah, Clinique in the city in Bloomingdale's actually reached out and they have this week-long event going on in the store and the three of us will be there for one of the days to do a meet and greet and hopefully meet as many of you guys as possible. So I'll have all of the information for that down below. We'll be there from around 4 p.m. on to like 6 or 7. So we'll be there for a couple of hours just hanging out and ready to meet you guys. So check the description box for information on all of that stuff. There's so much to share with you in this video. I'm really super duper excited. I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start with the face. I love a very glowy looking skin in the summertime, so I'm going to be using the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer and just placing that like on the high points of my face where I would normally highlight my face, but first I'm going to take a selfie because you know, priorities in life. Um, and then I'm just going to continue and blend that in with my finger and a brush and a beauty blender and whatever I have on hand just to get it melted into my skin. Then I want my shadows to really last and pop, so I am going to be using primers today for under my brow. I'm using the Benefit High Brow. And then for the rest of my lid, I'm going to be using a just a concealer by NYX Cosmetics. And just blending that in with my finger. It doesn't matter if it's a little messy outside of your eye because we'll be doing foundation and stuff later. But for shadows, I'm going to be using the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette today. I love, love this palette for everyday looks. Um, when you do want some shadows but nothing too crazy, they have really beautiful neutrals in this palette. So I'm actually going to be starting with the color Cinnamon, just a really nice crease color and I'm going to be buffing that into my crease to start. Then moving on to the color Optimistic, really really beautiful, kind of rosy um, neutral color and patting that all onto my eyelid. Then with a pencil brush, I'm going to be using the color Russet, which is a little bit of a deeper, plummy, red-toned color. Um, it looks really nice with the Optimistic, and I'm actually going to be creating kind of like a rectangle shape on my outer corner with that first, and then just taking that without any more product and bringing it in along my crease towards my inner corner. I'm also going to be doing kind of a little U and bringing the bottom tip or the bottom half in towards my lash line just a little bit. So it's going to create kind of like that V shape but with more of a curve to it. Then with the same fluffy brush from before without any more product, I'm just going to use that to buff it out. I'm also going to be using the color Sugar Milk, which I love as a brow bone color. Um, it's not really a very highlighted color, just a very nice neutral skin tone color for me. And it's just going to help to look really nice and blend out those colors from the crease towards the brow bone. Then just go back and intensify or continue blending whichever colors you need to. And those are the shadows on the eyes for now. 
For my eyebrows, I'm still using the Brow Fill by Grande Naturals in the color Dark. I've been using this every single day. It's a one-step brow um, option. I love it for the summertime. It's quick and I'm out the door. I do have a full review and demo video on it, so I won't talk too much about it today, but I'll link that down below if you're interested. I'll also have all the products linked down below so you guys can find them easily. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and pause on the eyes for a minute and do my foundation and concealer off video and I will come back with that done in three, two, one. Alright guys, so I am just using the same pencil brush from before without adding any new product actually and it still has that russet deep red plummy color on it so I'm just going to draw that or drag it under my lower lash line to create some color down there. You don't need any new color, this color is very very pigmented and strong so just whatever's left on the brush. To finish off my eyes, I went ahead and used an NYC liquid liner for my top lash line eyeliner and for my waterline, a NYX Coal liner. For mascara, lately I've been loving this combination, the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara on my top lashes and CoverGirl Super Sizer on my lower lashes because it really gets into those lower lashes good. Um, it has a very small um, wand. Now I'm just grabbing a bronzer by, it's called Park Avenue Princess, oh by Tarte, there we go. Um, I don't like bronzing too much in the summertime, but I do want to contour my nose just a little bit since it is like a nice event that I was going to this day. Instead of bronzer, I'm going to opt for a bronzy blush. Now this one is by MAC Cosmetics, I believe it was limited but it's called Gold Deposit, I'm not exactly sure. It's just a really pretty golden, very glimmery, shimmery um, color, so I love using this as a blush in the summertime. For highlights, I love this. I mentioned it in a previous not makeup related video just because I was so obsessed with it. It's the new um, highlighter by Ofra Cosmetics. The name is, oh my alarm. It's like 6 in the morning right now, guys. Um, the name is called Beverly Hills. But anyway, with my finger, I'm just going to grab the top two um, colors, which is a champagne -y color and kind of a bronzy tan color in the wheel, just with my finger popping that onto the high points of my face, the same places where I placed the Josie Marin Illuminizer before, which I did under my concealer, I mean under my foundation at the beginning of the video. Then to blend this out, I'm going to be using a combination of my finger and a fan brush just to get the consistency that I want and that glow and highlight that I want. Um, and then I'm also going to be using a clean pencil brush and the top champagne color and just popping that into the inner corner of my eyes for a little brightness and sparkle there. From here, I am going to move on to the lips and I really, really like this lipstick combination. So from MAC, I am using, it's called Peach Stock. It's a really nice nude. It's actually one of my favorite nude colors. That's going to be in the center of my lip and then from Too Faced, their Melted Chocolate um, Lipstick in Chocolate Honey. This is my favorite out of all the Too Faced lipsticks ever. Um, I love, love, love the color in the fall. I love it on its own. Today I'm going to be placing it towards the outer corners and the outer edges of my lips just to create a slight ombre, kind of like a nude ombre. Love nude lips in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, in the winter, all the time. You guys know this already, but definitely love this melted color. It's so gorgeous. And that's pretty much the face for the outfit. I'm going to apologize in advance. My seven-year-old helped me film. He loves to help me, and the video is super shaky, but I promised him I would use it, so I'm using it. I'm also going to pop in some pictures so you guys get a better look as well. But this was my outfit that day. The shoes are from Shimmy Shoes. I do have a full haul. I got a bunch of pairs of shoes from them earlier in the springtime, so I will link that down below if you want to see the other pairs I got. My sleeveless vest. Sleeveless vest. I just completely said the same thing twice. My vest is suede. There we go. And it's from Hot Miami Styles. Love, love. My shorts are from Express. I love these dressy type of work shorts because I feel like they fit so nicely. They look elegant, but they're still short, so you can still get away with wearing them casually. And then my crop top is just from um, Charlotte Russe. I think I got it last year, but they always have really cute crops. So this was the outfit and the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and I think I'm gonna pop back in here with a little outro but yeah let's just go right to that I love you guys forget to check out Jessica's video also don't forget to check out the deets in the description box for the meet and greet we are super excited to meet you guys and just hug you and squeeze you and hang out and talk and I obviously love to talk and for everyone who's ever met me in person I love to talk in person too so be prepared for that if you do come to the meet and greet I love you guys so very much hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you really soon with another one bye guys